So a move that went down a few days ago, but I'm here to talk about it now. Wade Miley claimed off waivers from the Cincinnati Reds to the Chicago Cubs. And Miley last season, in my opinion, he wasn't that bad with the Cincinnati Red team. So the Cubs pick him up. They exercise his $10 million clause. And last year in 2021, 12-7 record, 163 innings, 125 strikeouts, a 3.37 ERA, and a 1.33 whip with 15 quality starts. So right here, he stays in the same division here in the NL Central. And I know this Cub team, they're rebuilding, and they've traded a lot of players last season at the MLB trade line. But Wade Miley still went out there. He gave quality starts to fantasy owners. He gave good starts to the Reds. And he had a low ERA in the mid threes as well. So right here with Chicago, I think he could be pretty decent. And a back-end guy you draft in your fantasy league, anywhere from the 15th to the 20th round, right here, he's a good option to have on your bench. And for this Cub team, he'll probably be the second or third starter, depending what other wolf season moves they make. But I think it's a good pickup for Chicago. They get a proven arm and veteran arm over there for this Cub team that deeply needs it. After all the pitches they traded, and went through last season. Right now, it's pretty much just him and Kyle Hendricks as the only upside guys on that roster right now. But maybe the Cubs this season, they're going to rebuild and try to take a shot at it in the Central. Because in my opinion, there were some decent teams, but nothing that was really a threat of making the World Series this year. So Wade Miley, I think he'll be good for fantasy owners this year in Chicago. And like I mentioned, in the middle to later rounds as a filler and a flyer guy, I don't think he's bad at all after coming off a pretty good season last year. So the Cubs pick him up. The Reds wanted a slash payroll. And I think it's a mistake for them. He was a solid starter for that team. So Wade Miley hooks on with the Chicago Cubs after getting claimed off waivers from the Reds. And I think he's a decent fantasy option and a good pickup for the Cubs heading into the 2022 Major League Baseball season.